All right, you guys, day two, my bag has been refreshed. It has been emptied. My backpack has been emptied. I am ready for more adventure and uh, food finding. Last day was, last day, yesterday was absolutely exhausting but exhilarating at the same time. Uh, met a lot of interesting people. Let's see what we can find today. Uh, it's a little bit gray today, typical for San Francisco. Uh, it's been raining overnight. So, all right, let's go find it. Right now I'm going to find the uh, pavilion that is called the Incubator Village and see what we can find there. All right, let's go. All right, I'm inside. You guys can see it is crazy busy in here. And this up here is, if you can read it, it says Incubator Village. This is where I'm going to go right now, but apparently I have to go over there, go up and go around. So, let's go. All right, I made it. Um, this is the Incubator Village. This is at least the balcony portion. Looks like an overflow. Um, these products here are all about what's new, what's happening now and is coming online. So I'm gonna take some tests, take some shots, and uh, find out what's new, because that's what I really love to find out about. All right, so this booth right over here with a gentleman standing there, um, they are split. They make a peanut butter and almond and peanut butter and jelly packet to go, and I'm excited because they want to uh, send me some packets, so I need to definitely make sure I get in touch with them. And uh, super nice guys out of LA. Oh, come on. Yeah. This is Brittany. Hi. And this is Cody. And they are, say it together. One and <laughs> Just tried some delicious salad dressings here. Uh, tried the champagne and the balsamic pear, and the pear is my favorite. Very good. All right, you guys. Thanks awesome. much. Thank we'll get in touch. You. All right, I finally made it to the Incubator Village. This is supposed to be all the new, new, new. All the new, new. You can ham it up. So welcome to Oinks, the salty sweet meat tree. We take an applewood smoked slice of bacon, we enroll it in chocolate. It is gluten free, it is only 90 calories, so you get a chocolate meat tree for only 90 calories. And it is very unique, you won't find it anywhere else out in the marketplace. Right on. And it's even better with some Merlot wine. <laughs> oh my god. Big wink. <laughs> Let's take a little peek here. How long have you guys been around? 2016. Okay. That's the incubator. We love bacon. So I just tried these flatbreads, the spicy and the potato. And they were delicious. Apparently they are sold in Lucky's and Carmel. So I'm in the what's new? What's hot? kinds of showcases. I have a feeling people paid extra money to be over here, but it is quite nice. They've got their products listed. They've got their booth number. Different goodies. Excuse me. All kinds of sugar-free steak sauces and chocolate beans. All kinds of stuff. And you always wanted to know where the tins come from. Boom, there they are. All kinds of good stuff over here. What's new? What's hot? I like this. This is interesting. I didn't know Old Bay had other products besides seasoning. Little spreads, little hats, cotton candy.
How cute are those? And how nice and colorful up here. There is an amazing amount of products here. I'm telling you. And each one of these guys have a booth, and it's crazy. Look at the beautiful packaging of some things. I met the Chimes people yesterday. Very nice people. Some Francis bacon. Look at Twinnings. Stash. Nice displays. Look at that. It's like a whole book. That's very cool. Toffee. Featured at Gelson's and Whole Foods. Kinds of good stuff. Leaner creamer. Interesting. Pumpkin seeds. Super bites. Nice little packaging there. Starbucks is in on the game here. I didn't know they had so many hot chocolates. Fisher. Chimichurri. Some nice packaging here. Look at that. Really nice. Chobani. This one's for you, Raccoon. I don't know. With all the cupcakeries and everything else, the Sprinkle Factory. I don't know. I don't know that it's that. It's probably a good idea. Just discovered a giant wall of cheese. How delicious is that? Amazing. Cheese. There's a whole cheese room. Yeah. <laughs> um, bum, bum, bum. This is Catherine. <laughs> cool device you have. So this is a pho, it comes in with a box, and then a juicy box you put with it and just pop it in the microwave. So 
Simply West Coast, and they make salmon-based products. Get down here. So it's like a candy and a cod and a bacon, all the way down there. It is a salmon ham, and it was quite tasty. So when doing a video, these guys would love to be same guys would love to be featured in the video. Please tag them. Alright, so I was over here at the uh, Mama Liu and uh, they had a whole bunch of different stuff, it's hard to see, but what I did get is I got an egg roll and a pot sticker and something I've never seen before, it is a boudin style egg roll, Louisiana style. So let's see if I can get somewhere where I can actually taste this and you guys can see me tasting it. Alright you guys, so again, I have my little snacks here. I'm excited to try this out. So, the first thing we have is the egg roll. I'm trying to get a little sauce on it here. Oh, it is hot. Mmm. Hot. That's really good. I think I've had that brand before. Now, what I really wanted to try was the boudin, because I have never seen boudin in an egg roll form. Let's take a little peek here. So check it out. Where's the camera? There it is. Mm -hmm. There we go. You guys can see it's got uh, all the meat and the rice and everything ground in there. It's kind of interesting. All right, let's, he said to put them with some sauce. Mmm. It's a pretty mild flavor. It's nice. I love boudin. I wish you could get it in California, but it's so hard to order it online. Let's take another bite. Mm, mm -mm. Mm -hmm. That is very interesting. I wonder how that came about. Mm -hmm. you know, I've been tasting all these good things here. This is a huge bite. Normally it's just literally one bite. But I literally got a box and sat down. This is the first time I have sat at the show in two days. It's like two o'clock on the second day of the show and uh, I have not sat down since. And to actually sit down and enjoy the food is very exciting. All right, number three is a pot sticker. It's like this. Mmm. Oh. Okay, of the three, that one is the best. That is really nice. Needs more sauce. Mm -hmm. So there we go. I'm doing a taste test at the show for you. Hope you guys are having a good show. And then I just noticed I have stuff all over my face. That's the problem. Oh, so we were just here at the Natural Spread Delights booth. We have some samples to try. We already did taste this, and they were absolutely delicious. And she's smiling and happy. And this is Robin. This is, oh, this is Robin. Hi, Robin. Very cheery. And this is Dahlia. And she's filling up because it goes fast. Anyway, they were delicious. And we're happy to have Robert here. Thank you. Safi's. Safies. Okay, so we're here at Safies. We just tried some okra and some pickled beets. They were delicious. I'll scoop around here and show you the product. All right, we'll have to give this more of a try and keep looking for it. In where was it? It is in Molly Stone. Morgan, this one's for you. Cheese, 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 and choose, 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 choose. Do a shot. I was going to tell us if it's cheese. Did you get your hands like, no? What? Cheese. I love cheese. There you go. Nice. I'm here at the Tomato Head and just tried the uh, beet hummus. It's quite delicious. Met with some nice folks here and hope to do some business with them in the future.
These are amazing. Bravo Terry's. You had me at Pandan. I'm very curious. I love Pandan. Welcome to China. Everybody on their phone doing nothing. This one's for you, Sheila. The leg of the bone in Spain. So just do this. Just tried this and it was just delicious. That's quite all right. Interesting. All this, just a big old booth. Hello. Hello. I'm so excited by this. I keep smelling it everywhere. Show me what you're doing. Show me what I'm doing. I'm peeling up and down, up and down. Any fruit or vegetable, yes? You don't need to take your end of the carrot. Now, you can peel tomato. Tomato is the softest and we can peel it. If you like pineapple, which is the hardest vegetable to peel, very, very easy. In a second. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe don't let the video be for this time. And to show this, it's also a knife. Your product is dishwasher safe. The PLS we sell for $99.99. This is at $69.99. Here at Revive Kombucha, I just had a couple samples from these guys. It was quite delicious. Uh, apparently, you can be finding them in Whole Foods in Monterey, so I will definitely be looking for that. Thanks, Revive. So I just tried this yuzu marmalade here. Yuzu is the Japanese citrus, and it was delicious. This one is French. Bum, 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 bum. Far, far away. Oh, why is it? Are you just back? From Seaside? Yeah. There you go. Personality. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a fancy contraption. What is that? Just a second, I'll show you. Trying some smart honey. Just tried the sea buckhorn, which was really good. And the spirulina. That is not a sample. I don't think they care. 
Hi, baby. Just saying hi. Uh, still going. It's about uh, 310, and I just had a nice conversation with um, Allison. She's convinced me to definitely come tomorrow because she says everybody gives everything away, and uh, I could go home with like a $5,000 wheel of cheese and all kinds of crazy stuff. So I am going to come tomorrow, um, so I'm probably going to leave here. My best guess is it closes at 3 or 4 tomorrow, so um, it's not that far. So these two are about desserts, cocktails, salads, what have you. Um, the middle one here, this by pickle, that's about Bloody Marys, Dirty Martinis, security platters. Um, so they come in retail formats and restaurant formats. The last one here is a butterfly pizza, it's a blue flower. The UNESCO region mm -hmm. in Switzerland. Yes. So very clean and it's an area where they used to do their pans for gold, so hence the gold ah, a little extra. Right, States. right, makes sense. The pre order guide, I like that. Some delicious Belgian cheeses. This one was particularly delicious, make a great grilled cheese. I think this is my favorite. The soft. Lovely. Thank you. <clears throat> that is a little back of the throat. <laughs> so I just tried some of these delicious harissa, is that how you say it? Harissa? Yeah. And also the crazy feta with some jalapeno was delicious. All kinds of goodies. And where is your product available? In Whole Foods. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah. All from Spain? Everything from Spain. Everything from Spain. Oh, I feel like I missed a cheese over here. This is a break from cheese. Just tried a delicious muscle. All kinds of goodies here. We have reached Japan. I'm so excited. All kinds of good stuff here. Look at all the people. Let's dive in. Oh, there we go. Here we go. We got the dog. Oh, you're from Akita. Okay. Some gluten free pasta. Yes. Japanese, of course. I just tried this germinated brown rice. I just tried the soup that looked like this. Yeah. Now, is, is the pasta the same? So, the whole thing then. So, we just had the samurai ramen with no animal, no fish, no MSG, and no alcohol. The pasta looked like this. It looks like this dry. And it was delicious. Thank you. Japanese pavilion has many exciting things. Many, 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 many. Sushi party. Sushi party. Salmon, salmon jerky. Spice. Looking at the island of Hokkaido, yes. all kinds of salmon and jerky and samples. Oh, there we go. Hi, Mom! Hi. <laughs> uh, we tried some uh, soy sauce, so, sorry, fish sauce, and some octopus, and the salmon jerky was delicious. Super. Oh, the special green tea chocolate. And what makes it special? Uh, it's made with ceremonial grade matcha, freeze dried ra raspberries, and sea salt. It looks delicious. Let me take one snap. Boom. I'm here at the Sugimoto tea. Oh, fluff the hair. Good, good. There you go. Luscious. Uh, based out of Japan and in Seattle. I just tried their special matcha tea and also the green tea, and I'm telling you, they need to make that available to everybody. Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
So we just tried this. It was a chocolate with hazelnut nougat in the middle of it. I learned that it was a substitute because of the British Napoleonic Wars and that hazelnuts became part of the product instead. And now we have this and it's delicious. It's okay. Prosciutto de Parma. Beautiful ham. Doing a, like a video about the winter fancy food? Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. So, so I'd love to show all the fun stuff that I find. Okay, cool. Okay, so we tried the Madagascar before, right? We tried Madagascar and now we tried Peru. Okay, I have to say I like the Peru better. Yes? Mm -hmm. Madagascar is very unique. Tangy. Yes. So, for example, uh, it's my personal favorite but it's my colleague's least favorite because it's so peculiar and unconventional. Trade you. Oh. <laughs> I just tried this cheese, imported, delicious. You said this one is 64 percent. 64. The one we just tried. This is white chocolate. Uh, the white chocolate that we have is made with 100 natural cocoa butter. Here. Oh! Show hi. us, Lisa. What are we doing? Okay. Well, right now we're going to we're going to rim this with our samurai spice. All right. S rimming, spicing, okay. drinking, cheersing. Cheers. There you go. <laughs> Very nice. So this is pretty cool. They even do some broadcasting from here. I don't know where it's broadcast to, but it is live right now, showcasing people and products. I still didn't make it to Germany today. All right, we're finishing up with Italy, closing in about 20 minutes. Let's try the pecorino. This is the 20 days. And this is the how long? Four months. Four months. Delicious. Try it. Oh, you want to see the, the rig? I'm going to show you the product. Alright, Germany is calling. I haven't made it over here yet. Tomorrow is the day. Excited. Almost done with Italy. The Brasciutta Varma people. Alright you guys, it is the end of day two. I have been everywhere and seen everything. No, that is a damn lie. I saw about a third of the show today. I think I did a really good job. I discovered the trick is to keep taking Tylenol so your feet don't fall off. 
I got a bag full of goodies here, I got a bag full of goodies here. I've had a great time. I've met a lot of really fun and interesting people today. Um, it's now five o'clock. Everybody is shutting down and making a mass exodus. And I shall too. We'll be back tomorrow for day three. Look at the mass exodus of people. Jelly Bell is still going strong. All right, time to get out.